Hello, welcome to Pirkei Avos with Rabbeinu Yonah. We are at the end of the first mission of the second chapter, 2-1. We split the mission up into three parts. So let's read the third part of the Mishnah. Look at three things and you will not come to sin. Know what's above you. Ayin roa, a eye that sees, the ozen shomas, an ear that hears. And all of your deeds are written in a book. Let's see what Rabbi Yonah says about this. This means to say that God knows what everyone does, and it's like it's written in front of him. And he will pay back evil for those that do evil. There is such a thing as reward and punishment. He said this mission, though, is uh, bewildering. Why do you need to have these three things? We said that know what's above you, an eye that sees, an ear that hears, and all of your deeds are written in a book. Why do you need to have those three things? Just say that God knows everything and He gives reward and punishment. Why do you have to say an ear that hears, an eye that sees, and all that? What kind of cheshbon is this? It's all the same thing. So why again? The question is, we're really just trying to say, it seems, that God knows everything, and people get repaid for their deeds. So why do you need three things? An eye that sees, an ear that hears, and everything's written down in a book. This is what it is, so to say. When you're in front of kings or ministers or important people, you're embarrassed to do certain things in front of important people, and you wouldn't say certain things that are not good. So too, a person should feel that he's standing in front of Hashem, just like his friend stands in front of him. And with this, he will be careful not to sin. Gampi will show him, but not only with his actions, but also with his speech. And therefore it says, Know what's above you. An eye that sees and an ear that hears. And these are two things. It says that Hashem sees, that's referring to Hashem sees actions. And an ear that hears, that refers to speech. So when we, the reason we have these two things, of an eye that sees and an ear that hears, is to tell us that Hashem not only watches our actions through His that he has eyes when he doesn't have eyes or that he has but he also hears what we say that a person can do mitzvos and averos with their speech in addition to their actions the chas v'shalom loimer and god forbid to say i am ve'ez in mamish that this means god forbid this does not mean that god forbid that hashem has eyes or ears i will loimer rather to say she'en maise nistar lefana v'lo maimer nela mimenu it's just to say that every action and every utterance is not hidden from him. Okay, so that answers why we have the two things. What about the third, that everything's written down in a book? But Dabra Hashlishi, and the third thing, everything's written down in a book. That means to say, that Hashem does not forget anything. And that everything is in front of him like it was written in a book. To repay them according to their deeds in the end of days. If a person would put on his heart the reward that he'll get, he won't do averas. And in this it says, That's why it says that look at these three things and you won't come to sin. Again, that it's there's an eye that sees, referring to that Hashem watches our actions, and two, an ozen shomas, an ear that hears, that he hears our speech, and three, that everything is written down in a book, that Hashem doesn't forget anything, and that everything, and all of our deeds and, and uh, speech, our utterances, get 
repaid. And we, a person should think about this, and it'll prevent him from sin, sin, uh, sinning. And with that, we finish the last, uh, excuse me, the first Mishnah of the second chapter of Pirkei Avos. Have a great evening.